Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect Microsoft Teams to NAN. Now at first it could seem a little bit confusing, but it's pretty straightforward as you don't actually need an API code at all. It's all in-house and I'll show you exactly how to do that through the NAN admin panel. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Microsoft Teams as a whole and make sure that you're actually signed into the Microsoft account that you're going to be using as it's going to ask you for your account information to verify that it's actually your account. I see people time and time again messing this up. But let's say you're already signed in. The next step is obviously opening up NAN. So make sure it's this one right here with .io at the end of it and make sure you're signed into this. If you don't have an account, go ahead and make one. But once you do make one, sign in and you're led to this page right over here. So this is where everything happens. So as you can see, this is my account. It's just a burner account for this tutorial. And what you're gonna wanna do here is find your way up to this open instance right here. Go ahead and click open instance and here you will get an overview of everything that you have. The thing that you're going to want to do here is head over to this, which says personal rather than this, which is just the overview, giving you everything that's going on and go ahead and click that. This is going to lead you to a bit of a different page. It looks kind of similar, but it is different. What you're going to want to do here is switch over to credentials. So here is where we're actually going to add the integration. I don't know why they call it credentials. That's just what they want to call it. But this is how we're going to set up Microsoft Teams. Go ahead and press add first credential. And then here is going to give you a bunch of APIs that this thing can connect to. So NAN has this huge, vast variety of integrations it can do. As you can see, there is a lot going on. But what we're going to want to do is search up Microsoft. And so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them spacebar and then type in teams this is going to give you the microsoft teams oauth2 api so as of the date right here this is the one that's going to pop up there could be more in the future but this one should work regardless of when you're watching this and with that it's going to say connection sharing and details keep this to all as it does need access to most of this stuff and what you're going to want to do is press connect my account what this is going to do is it's going to pop up this little pop up right here. I have it a little bit minimized because my email and I don't want to give it out. But essentially, it's going to tell you that you need to sign in and, you know, you basically need to give it permissions. So go ahead and click accept. And just like that, it's going to pop up with this little message saying connection successful and the window automatically closes. So as you can see here, we can just make sure and double check that it is in fact connected to this Microsoft Teams OAuth 2 API. Now, with that being said, it should be working good. Go ahead and refresh just in case. And as you can see, it's fully good to go. It even removed the little error message that it gave us. If this was helpful, consider subscribing and leave a 